Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Hello, can I get a venti pumpkin spice frappuccino? Okay. Anything else? Oh, no, that's it. Alright, sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright. Felt a little awkward, to be honest with you. With that order. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, it has been acquired. Yo, what is up guys, Patrick here. Welcome back to the video. Today, we're back at Starbucks once again, but we're trying the venti pumpkin spice frappuccino. So I have tried the latte. I'm more of a latte kind of guy when it comes to the pumpkin spice, uh, kind of fall season beverage, but you guys know me. I like my cold beverages, and I'm going to try it as a frappuccino and see if there's a big difference so you know the pumpkin spice latte i've done the review for that it's in the description also at the end of the video but just a quick kind of thing it's kind of like a smooth i feel like it's a 10 out of 10 drink it's so good that every time it comes back for the fall i have to drink it i've drank it already maybe like seven or eight times and it came out last week so maybe it's already been like 10 days of it being out and i've already drank it seven out of those 10 days so it's such a good drink but today we're going to be trying it as a frappuccino i already know how good it tastes as a latte but let's see is it as good as the latte all right, so yeah, it is a little bit of a latte still at the bottom here, and then the rest is frappuccino, so I guess maybe they'll move the straw up if I'm making a mess in my car. Mmm. It tastes pretty good. The frappuccino is definitely way colder than the latte, that's for sure. I feel like... I think the latte has steamed milk and then this one has regular milk but it's still like the same like nutmeg the cinnamon and all that stuff it's up this is like with ice and then the the milk and it's blended together to make the frappuccino but i feel like with the latte you get more of like an espresso kind of like cinnamon taste cinnamon i can't say that word every time i have to say cinnamon it just ends up going horribly you don't really get too much of like the espresso kind of taste it's more of like the pumpkin spice like their like signature cinnamon and all the the nutmeg all mixed together to get like the the pumpkin spice kind of taste but what i'm thinking is the frappuccino you can definitely taste more of like that that like pumpkin spice kind of taste that they're going for but with the latte it's more of an espresso kind of beverage I feel like the latte is definitely smoother, a little bit less cold if you get it with ice, you know, it comes with ice, but it's also warm. I'm not a big fan of the warm stuff because when you drink the warm stuff, I feel like, especially with like the caramel drinks during the winter, if I get it warm, I feel like there's like little like chunks of something at the bottom that's not caramel. It's like the foam just got kind of like squishy and like weird. I don't know what I'm saying, but it, it doesn't taste good for some reason for me, the warm beverages at Starbucks. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this tastes better. I think I'm rambling like an idiot right now, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you tried the Frappuccino one over the latte? I definitely think the Frappuccino might be a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like I'm always going to stick with the latte, but if I had to get the Frappuccino, it's not bad. It, it definitely doesn't leave too much of an espresso kind of taste in your mouth. You do taste the espresso like uh, in the beverage, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like the on par i think these are i think the latte i don't know i'm so I, i'm stuck i don't want to say this one's better this is on par with the latte i feel like it tastes almost as good as the the latte the frappuccino here but this is more of like an ice cream kind of like pumpkin kind of taste i guess that's what i have to say about it it kind of tastes like it's an ice cream you know that's like a milkshake of pumpkin spice uh, taste I don't know. You, uh, what do you guys think? Tell me down below. Have you tried the pumpkin spice latte or the pumpkin spice frappuccino? Which one's better? Do you guys prefer to get it as a frappuccino, a latte, or if you're one of those people that gets it warm? Mm, that's not me. It doesn't taste that good to me. But, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I completely wrong for saying that this is pretty much close to the, the latte? Because, I don't know, I feel like this tastes better, but sometimes I feel like the latte is probably going to taste better as well. They're both good. I'm going to have to give this a 9.9, .9, and then the latte, I think I gave it a 10 out of 10. I don't know, it's been a year since I've reviewed that, but I definitely, I drink it. I've drank it seven times already. Technically, this would be my eighth 
if I had to categorize this as just going to Starbucks and getting a pumpkin spice kind of beverage. So which one am I gonna get regularly, the latte or the frappuccino? I think the latte would be for kind of like kind of quick because I feel like I'd take longer to drink the frappuccino. You know, the latte, I just gulp that thing right up. But the frappuccino, I can take my time. Usually when I'm drinking a venti of just a latte, I'll just sip right through it. But with the frappuccino, I take my time. I get the more of the flavor of the beverage. So if you're really looking for that taste of the pumpkin spice, the frappuccino is the way to go. But if you're kind of looking for like a kick and like a pick me up, the espresso is the way to go. And the hot beverages, I can't say too much about that. I haven't tried it as a hot beverage, but if you guys want me to try it as a hot beverage, uh, comment that down below. I want to know your guys' opinion, but as always, take my review as a basis of layer of information. Go try it for yourselves. Come back. Tell me what you guys think about it. And yeah, as always, if you did enjoy this video, uh, hit that like button. It's highly appreciated. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that post notification bell to be notified when my uploads are up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.